Servus, grüß euch, my name is Pablo Picanto and welcome to the Impossible Quest. This is a text adventure and people seem to enjoy it, so I'm about to enjoy it myself. So we're gonna go... Oh, damn, where, where are we gonna go? Huh, let's go Deadly Danger Dungeon. That sounds nice. You woke up in a dark room. You can't see a damn thing. You really want to get out of here. Uh, okay, search your pockets. Uh, let's search my pockets. You found your cell phone. It has 1% of the battery, so you can call once only. <laughs> Play angry ones. Call mom. Call the police. Um, I'll call mom? Honey, you finally called. Dad and I miss you very much. We never see you anymore. When will you return? Did you find a girlfriend? How is work? So when will you come home? We need to visit our country house, make some repairs and plant some seeds. I am too old to do it myself. If only I had grandchildren. Beep, beep, beep. Ah, she's, she's still there. Mom, I'm locked in some dark room. I need... What room? Wanted somewhere at night again? God damn it, Mom. Got drunk, I suppose. I th Though you are forbidden to drink, you are in some bad company. All they do is shoot weed up their veins. If I find out you're doing drugs, your father will kill you. Now come visit us. Stop going to do some dark rooms. <sighs> you can catch disease in there and die. And who will make me grandchildren? Then? <sighs> mom, you don't... It was a bad idea to call mom. Holy shit. Mom, you don't need... Uh, you do not understand. I need help. Your phone died. Thank God. <laughs> Eat the phone. What? Okay. Think about how things got this bad. I kind of am interested how I got in here, but let's search the room. There's a wall in front of you. On your left and right, also on your back. Your deduction tells you that it is indeed a room. Wow. You found a door on one of the walls. Open the door, kick the door open because you can. If I can, then... yeah. In front of you is a quite bright room. There's a soccer ball, a notebook and a ski on the floor. Play with the ball, read the notebook. Right on the ski on the um, Should I do all the bullshit? I don't know where this is gonna go. I'm, I'm just gonna... <laughs> do what I would do, I guess. There's no escape from this room. Well, except for the hatch in the corner and through the cardboard wall. But yeah, no escape. So... Then we'll... Hmm. Uh, let's break through the wall. You see passages in each of the unbroken walls. Torches can be seen inside the first. Something is pouring from the ceiling in the second and there are metal pipes on the floor of the third. What do you choose to go through? Hmm. Yeah, fire, definitely. I guess we're gonna go through the water. You came to the cave with a stone bar and a walrus with a microphone in his hand in the center. I'm Wallace the Walrus and this is Name the Tune. Please introduce yourself, newcomer. Uh, I'm not his worst nightmare. Gonna go this Ready, steady, go! The first tune is La 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 La. Damn. I want a hint. I will add three more notes for you. Oh, fuck you, Wallers. I can still only see the text. That didn't help. This isn't funny. I'm gonna point out the problem. Come on, contestant. Sometimes you just need to think outside the box. And if you wrong... And if you're wrong, I will eat you. You're cool. Smoke on the water. La la la. It could be that. Um, try to escape implies that something might go wrong. Uh, Imperial March. You are removed from the game right into my mouth. Damn. Shit. A walrus ate you. N26. Damn! Okay. Let's try that again. 
Let's call the police this time. City police, Tatiana speaking. What is your emergency? Hi, I'm in some dark room. Maybe you have the sexiest voice I've ever heard. One big pizza... Okay. Address, a dark room. Maybe the pizza will come. Um... Oh, man. So many... Oh, my God. You have to play that so often to get all the cool shit. Okay, let, let's flirt a little. So, this is the police. Tell me what happened or I will hang up. Maybe... Uh, <laughs> you happened to me. That's what. You heard a long beep, then the phone shut down. Damn it! Okay, eat the phone. After a few hours, you died from poisoning. Phone poisoning. Nice. Okay. Search your pockets. Call the police. Give me the pizza. Very funny, she said, and hung up. Damn it! Okay, eat the phone again. Search your pockets. Call the police. Hyman, in some dark room. Address of the room, please. Uh, triangulate. We are not the KGB. <laughs> I cannot help you there. Well, screw you. Kill Putin. Heil to the opposition. I don't know what that does to the situation. How do I know? It's dark and I don't know how I got here. You heard a long beep, then fuck. Okay, think about how things got that bad. Life was awesome, expensive education, good work, friends. What went wrong? Life is too good and I don't deserve it. Sometimes I think I'm empty inside. Can I call myself a person? That is all so deep. So deep and so very little helpful. Uh, don't say that. You are a great guy. You have a bright future ahead of you. Future? There is no future. I can see myself in that future. Why am I a great guy? I don't feel great about myself. Really? What? <laughs> you put yourself in an ex existential crisis and stayed there forever. <laughs> nice. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna play Angry Birds. You completed one level, got one star, loser. Then your phone died. Damn it. Okay. How did? Things go that bad. Life is too good and I don't deserve it. Don't say that. We had that. Future. There is no future. Okay. Guess it's all gonna end in a crisis. Pray for salvation. A radiant white inscription appears before you. Your application is accepted. Ex expect a response within four to eight thousand working years. Wow. Well, heaven is kind of busy. Wait for... Just wait for it. You managed to wait a couple of days. <laughs> you would probably continue waiting, but you died. Hmm. Alright. So, search my pockets. Uh, doesn't really help anything. Call the police. Some dark room. Baker Street. Very funny. And Why do they hang, hang up all the time? Okay, search the room. Talk to the door. Are you serious? That's just fucking with me. Yes, I really believe that I can speak with doors. How strange. No response. It's probably deaf. Alright, open the door. Yell at it. Try to speak in sign language. No, it's too dumb. After completing such a stupid action, you died from a lack of oxygen in your brain. <laughs> cool. Died because of the most common cause of death. Of stupidity. That happens. Okay. Call dark room. How do I know? Phone shut down. I'm gonna search the room. Open the door. Mm, ride the ski. Shockingly, you failed. Try again. It didn't work again. Wow. Try again. Failure again. You're probably doing something wrong and unreasonable. Oh, you're calling me a fool? Not a fool, just not very reasonable. Different things. Throw the ski at uh, with rage. Yeah. You threw the ski at nobody. Ski passed through the wall. Either it's not a very strong wall or you are a great thrower. Mm, run through the wall to get your beloved ski. Just break through the wall. You see passages. Okay, um not water, that sucks brass pipes. You come to a bridge hanging over a deep pit. There's a man in grey robe screaming. You shall not pass. Pass. You easily cross the bridge. Dude, I said you cannot pass. 
Why are you humiliating me in front of the hobbits? Sorry, mate. Not my problem. Screw you and your midgets. Do the cool face and move along. You've come to the wall with three doors. Which one you'll go through? Uh, right one. Entering the room, you see that all three doors led to the same place. Yeah, that will be a lesson for you on the illusion of choice. Your lessons suck. Thank you. Oh, you. This room is a garage with a bunch of expensive cars, and it is open. You can freely leave, but on which car? Bentley, Ferrari, Mercedes. Mm. They're all quite fancy. Ah, uh, yeah, well, right with style then. You started the car, Kavinsky Night Call began to play, and then the, you drove into the sunset. Nice! Got out with style. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's go to the place again. Alright, a ski. Uh, get, read the notebook. Break through the wall. Brass pipes. Uh, attack him. You tackle him to the side of the bridge. Fly, you fools. He said before the two of you begin to fall. Kick him in the head. Bam. Your battle continued for a long time and was amazingly epic. But then you both reached bottom and were squashed. Maybe you'll be reincarnated with white ropes or something. That seems like the thing uh, happening after that. Okay, uh, let's call the police. I searched the room. Open the door. Uh, let's go for the ski again. Throw the ski. Get my ski. You see passages. Okay. Uh, brass pipes. Pass. Screw you and your midgets. Come. Okay, we go everywhere. Your lessons suck. This room is a garage. Uh, Mercedes. Okay. It's all the same. Is one car gonna be the bad car, kind of? Let me see. Play. Oh, okay. We're playing with the ball now. How are you going to play? Like Zidane. I'm gonna headbutt somebody. You tried to hit the ball with your head. Lost your balance and fell into the wall. Turns out it's made of a cardboard. Break the wall. Break the wall with your foot like Bruce Lee. Uh, go through the fire. You found yourself in a room with a huge three-headed dog sleeping. It smelled something and began to wake up. Sing him a lullaby. Let's try it. The dog set up a bit, then flopped to the side and returned to the land of dreams. You see a hatch under his paws. Jump through the hatch. Screw this, go back. Gently slide into the hatch. You fell down through the darkness past some vines, flying keys, and then landed painfully. You have a strong desire to curse. Ah. Uh, shit. Fuck. Shit, fuck. Shit, fuck. While getting up, you realize you're standing on a huge chessboard. You, a brilliant chess player, quickly observed the situation and found a winning maneuver. You need to do the Bowden's mate. <laughs> I don't know. Bishop on... Uh, Bishop? The opponent's king threw his sword on the board. I did it. How? Signaling his defeat, a passage open. What will be your victory shout? That's how you do it. In the name of Kasparov. GG, well played. You can see a huge troll with a club in the next room. He stands facing the wall and you can just pass through, ignoring him. You're gonna troll the troll. Wow, what a fool you are. Is all your family that stupid? For sure, especially your mother. Troll turned out to be surprisingly articulate. <laughs> hey, my mom, you're the one who's stupid. Your mom is so stupid she calls you to ask your number. Uh, stop. 
Your mama is so stupid, we, uh, she tripped over a wireless network. <sighs> I cry. Go further. Call the troll all the bad words you know. You have exploded with anger, literally. Next time, don't feel a troll. Got trolled. Hard. Damn, happens. Inspect the room. Ah, uh, so sure. Keep the door. Uh, God. Open the hatch. Did I? I didn't go through the hatch, right? Okay. You went down through the hatch and found yourself in some catacombs. There are three equally terrible passages before. Why are they terrible? Go into the left, go into the right, go into the middle. Going middle. You enter a cave with a pond with three lovely mermaids swimming in the center. They are calling you. You can see the passage to somewhere else over the pond. Mom taught you not to talk to mythical creatures. Move along. Andres enjoyed the mermaids. Sounds like the thing to do. Ask how to get out of here. I can still ask when I'm undressed, right? You leaped into the pond, mermaids embraced you and treated you to champagne and caviar. The pond bubbled like a jacuzzi. You had a wonderful couple of hours, then mermaids ate you. Well, at least better than the warless ending. Died while was surrounded by beautiful mermaids. Worth it. Uh, yep. Indeed. So. Uh, room, open the ball. Play with the ball like Ronaldo. You got dizzy while doing cool tricks with the ball and fainted. When you woke up, you realized that you were lying on some hatch. Hatch must be opened. Perform the act of opening the hatch. Open the hatch. Hatch must be opened. Uh, we were middle. Let's go left. Suddenly a wall fell behind you. You can now only go left, forward or right. Hmm. Forward, no other way. I'm on the righteous way. To the left, to the left. Right to the left. <clears throat> Forward. Again, three passages. Uh, right. Once more. Uh, right. Again. Right. Once more. Right. Right, 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 right. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Sweet death. Wait, it's the sun. You found a way. I found a way out. Yes. What? You found an exit? How did you do it? This quest is impossible. I did it. Nonetheless. I don't care about your impossibility. So, uh, let's quickly go. Uh, like wherever that is. You attempted to hit the ball but missed and got your foot through the wall. Uh, man, didn't go through the wall. Okay, wait. Fire. Uh, go back. Uh, water. Yeah. Okay, we're back at the walrus. Try to escape. You easily managed to escape. Because he's a walrus and he can't run. Yeah, actually, I could have thought of that, right? But suddenly someone blasted you in the head and you lost consciousness. What? You woke up in a room with no ceiling and metal walls besides a rubbish dump. Suddenly the walls of the room begin to shrink. Uh, R2, shut down all the trash compactors and the detention level. Jump on the walls like Altair. Stack the boxes and climb out. Uh, stack it. You climbed out and now you see a long road in front of you. There is a bike, a snowmobile and a camel nearby. Uh, well, road should actually do the bike, right? Camel. The camel is gonna fuck me over. Snowmobile. Uh, let's go for the camel. After a long ride, you came to a small box. There is a bomb inside and only five seconds on a timer. Which wire will you... Why do I go to the bomb? Okay, open the box. Okay, uh... Blue? Damn it! At least the camel managed to run away. Glad. You are a horrible bomb diffuser. You 
are a horrible person, man. Okay, how did I get there? Kick it, play with the ball like that guy. Go this year. Uh, water. The demand a hint. Isn't funny. Try to escape. Uh, this year? Well, this is not the Death Star, and there's no R2. You've been crushed by the walls. Damn it. M. Dab, dab, dab. Open play ball. This. Mm. Wait, this. This. Okay, uh, stick the boxes. Snowmobile. There's no snow, stupid. Choose something else. <laughs> okay, gonna go for the bike. You came to a little beeping box and opened it. There's a time bomb in it. You're really scared and want to pray. Pray to Zeus, pray to Jesus, pray to Flying Spaghetti Monster. After praying you saw that 30 minutes remain on the timer. You decided to blow up a nearby wall with the bomb. You installed it, hit it and now waiting. Ugh. Perform the Carmen Opera loudly. Oh, why not? The wall exploded and you see a way out. Outside there is an airport. You board a plane with hope it will take you far away from here. Nice! Alright! Quite some endings. Not too bad. Is that does all these endings to just count for the dungeon thing? We have some more, so we might uh, do some more episodes about it. Ah, uh, oh, look at that. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, for now. I hope you had a little bit of fun with this game. You can easily get that and uh, try out some endings for yourself. And you and me, I hope, will meet again in the next video. Have a nice one. Servus. Good, good, good. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Maybe I should go for this here. Oh, nice job. You surprised me there.